man. Come on, fuck you. Honestly. I mean, he'd, fucking, he'd be fucking popping and locking, thinking he's dope, just listening to all this gangbanger shit. And it's like, dude, man, you're a fu- you were a deadhead one week. Next week, you fucking think you're fucking easy E. Well, you know, I got a little message for you. Oh, I heard that. That's feedback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, needless to say, this kid fucking one day really, really pissed me off. Once. Yeah, and, we're good. We're good. Okay. Well, unless you want to finish the story. Well, yeah, uh, I might as well. Going, finish it. And no, anyway, no. anyway, needless to say, I, I, talking to this guy I work with about him. And this is at Angelina's, so this would have been fucking, God, 2000, something like that. And um, I, I was telling him about him. He's like, Oh wait, I know who that is. And this cat wrote this huge piece of music for me. And he gave it to me, and he's like, here, Sheedy, you can use these lyrics, they're yours. So I was like, all right, cool. And then the thing they call Nick actually gave me part of the lyrics, and then I finished it and came up with the song. But it all stems from an incident where I got a phone call at work, and I was asked a very bizarre question. And I've been asked a lot of fucked up things in my life, but this really blew my mind. And this guy asked me while I'm getting my ass handed to me in the kitchen, Shady, how do you fix a work? <laughs> that song in five years nice. I never I've never gone into anything in a performance aspect and really thought about what I was gonna do it's whether whatever comes out if it works it works if it don't it don't <coughs> I just whatever sounds right I'll play I'm pretty much self-taught in that respect I mean, I did take classical guitar, but I didn't get shit out of this. And I wound up giving up the guitar and playing bass. Then came Eddie Van Halen. And it all changed after that. But then I found other people. I found Al Demiola and Frank Zappa and fucking John McLaughlin and went off into a whole other direction. Kind of weird, but boy. Really. With the bizarre shit that I like, I mean, my playing doesn't reflect it at all. In fact, you could safely say that I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. But that's what makes it interesting. Like, I don't know what that chord is. No idea. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. 
Don't care though. That's the beauty of it. I know what that is. And that's all that really matters. As long as I have that's that. It. It's an, actually not really E. It's an E minor. E is here. The shiny metal box of happy thoughts. This all, yeah. this is an interesting thing in that um, I went to a friend of mine's house down on South Street, and this had to have been like, God, 92, 93, because I was living in Rollins Park at the time, and fucking, fucking, I show up at this kid's house, and like they had all just got back from a funeral, so they're all dressed in suits. And they're like, one of them who, by the name of Theo McFarland, told me, yeah, we're going to go bomb the federal building tonight. And I'm like, yeah, you know what, I think I'm just going to go sleep in the park tonight. Fuck this. Needless to say, the next day I'm down at Bagel Works drinking coffee, and I pick up the newspaper and I flip it over. A bomb scare at federal building. And I'm like, oh my fucking God. They really did it. So, this is a lot different from the original version of this because I've changed it a million times. But, hence the story lies. I've got a shiny little box of happy thoughts. Robot come out and diffuse me, but I'm just a monkey inside a metal box. You will cut me up into little pieces. You will hold me like you do in county jail. to see us do Dead Hooker. You never got, you, there was nothing quite as funny.
I never saw the nooch so packed. Oh, and shit. we had people fucking rolling on the floor, shitting their pants. Because here's fat ass Don Encore up on stage going, Yeah! Oh, baby! Me, here, me and Evan are like, Dude, we're never going to get through this. Fucking sure enough, fucking. You. With a purposeful grimace and a terrible sound, I pick up a hooker and I pull my pants down. She sits in the corner and she starts to cry, because I'm a sick fuck. She's gonna die. <clears throat> oh no, that bitch did all my blow. No, no, dead hooker. Oh no, that cop set's got to go. No, no, dead hooker. And it's like, where the fuck did you come up with that? Well, I don't know. I was in the c concrete truck going to a job. One of the... Godzilla came on the radio, so I started making up new words. So, of course, immediately, me and Bartlett are like, Bartlett, show me how to play that. So, he teaches me how to play it. We get to Nonker good and drunk, and we're like, all right, we're going to go play open mic tonight. Yeah. That was funny. The place was packed, and for whatever reason... <laughs> The dog court was able to pull it off, and it was funny as hell. We had people falling out of the chairs. And fucking me and Evan are just, like, barely holding on to dear life before we crack up, because it was so fucking hilarious. And then the other one that we did at the time, there was another tune, and it was to the tune that Beck wrote called Deborah. And the, the lyrics were, I fed you X slacks to get into your slacks. I'm going to shit on your tits. I'm going to rub it like this. Shachi and what's up with the moon people? Dumb. <laughs> I'm not talking about the moon people. Yeah, not on camera. Right moon people. I'll talk to you about the moon people alone. I won't discuss the moon people. Whoa, whoa. Just beware. 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 Huh? Fair enough. So they would could you talk to very us? bad fortune upon you if they wanted to. Would you talk to us all individually about Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but not some as people, a group? Some people already know. Some people already know. Those who know understand. Those who don't. The don't penguin know. knows. Mr. Oh, Happy the knows. penguin definitely is. Oh, yeah, Mr. Oh. Happy knows, too. Camera is off. Can we hear the story? Camera is off. No recording. Why? Oh, well. Well, I just, we, if you tell us all individually, why not just tell us as a group? Because well, we, because yeah. I'm surprised somebody hasn't told you. But then again, that's why they don't tell you. Right. Well, we're see, yeah. see, that's yeah. You, we're all you here. have to. This is investigative journalism. Yeah. Right? Good luck. Good luck, because I ain't telling you nothing. <laughs> uh uh No way. You bones. just gotta boil down the bones, man. Boil the bones and powderize them. And don't bury it three feet in your fucking car garage either. Duly noted. Well, if you're not going to talk about the moon people, talk about the old man. The old man, this fucking guy sucked. <laughs> In fact, I still have the slip that the Portland PD gave me for disorderly <laughs> conduct because I walked up the stairs too loud. <coughs> the old man used to piss me off. I worked at the fish market in Portland, and I'd come home from work every night covered in fish guts and blood. And this fucking asshole would be like, You have to walk up this stairs like a fucking goddamn giant. Now, mind you, I got size 13 feet and I wear giant that. fucking combat boots. So when I walk up the stairs, yeah, it makes a little bit of racket. And it's like, you know what, old man, why don't you go do something with yourself and stop being a piece of shit? I'll call the cops on you. Oh, my, my, the best line was, Do I have to call 911 on you? And I was like, Yeah, go ahead. So needless to say, cops show up at my house. I have a TV that doesn't have a speaker in it. The speaker's completely been ripped out of it. We found it in the dump. I got my Atari hooked up. I'm sitting there in the dark <coughs> playing Sequest when the door, get a knock on the door. And the cop, I open the door and the cop's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm sitting here in the dark playing Atari because I can't walk up the stairs without the cops yelling, without the old man freaking out. And fucking the cops like says to me after like talking to me for like five minutes, he's like, Is that an Atari? And I was like, Yeah, why? So the cop came in and we sat, we were playing Atari for like a good 20 minutes. When Chachi comes home and he's like, I don't believe it. 
cats and dogs getting along together? This is weird. Sheedy and the cop are playing Atari. And I'm fucking cocked, mind you. Yeah, that was weird. Portland PD was weird with me. I went to a Motorhead concert. I got thrown through a window at the Asylum Club. And fucking the Portland PD beat the shit out of me. I spent an entire weekend in jail. And when I was getting released, the fucking guy at the fucking uh, desk was like, did Portland PD do that to you? And I was like, yeah, why? The cop starts laughing his ass off. I'm like, fuck you. And a cop behind me cracks me in the back of my head with his billy club. And he's like, you're not out of here yet. Walks up in front of me, opens the door for me. And he's like, enjoy your stay in Maine. Needless to say, the minute you walk out the door of Cumberland County Correctional and come out in front of that mall, right across the street, conveniently located, is Vermont Transit. So I walked right across the street and I was like, one to Portsmouth. Ten bucks. Here you go. How long? An hour. Perfect. Walked back to fucking Chachi's house, grabbed my guitar, left a note saying, bye-bye. Gonna go live in Rollins Park. Fuck this shit.